I don't know if Karen really thought that her church would become a, a Karen church <laughs> to begin with, but it's, it's been such this um, amazing, amazing partnership, first of all. What I see in the Habakkuk Mennonite Church was a community that said, we're dying. We're, we're literally dying off. We don't have younger individuals. We're not bringing new people in. And if they would have continued with the identity that they had, that would have been their final narrative. And instead they say, you know, as a people of faith, we believe in resurrection, we believe in transformation. And as a result, we're going to be ourselves transformed and allow our church to be transformed. I think that in 50 years, it's churches like Habakkuk that will exist if there's still some form of Christianity existing today. The churches that are adamant about fighting against progress, fighting against inclusion, fighting against individuals being supported, those churches will be non-existent, or if they exist, they will be fringe cults attended by no new members, only by the descendants of the family members who took that blind and backwards viewpoint and decided that they were going to put their flag in the ground on it and they were going to die by that sword. And they will. Those churches will be dead.